You know, when you think about Advent, you think about all of the great people you hear from sacred scripture. You know, you hear, of course, about the Blessed Mother. She's a primary figure in Advent. You hear about, you know, St. John the Baptist. You even hear about the angel Gabriel and all the roles that they played. But you know somebody that we don't talk enough about? St. Joseph. St. Joseph was a key figure in the entire Advent experience. And when Mary found St. Joseph to, to be her husband, you know, she found a good man. The dude was set. He already had his own house. He probably had a two donkey garage. He even had his own company, St. Joe's Carpentry Shop. So Joseph was a great find. And I think that God knew that Joseph would be phenomenal as someone that could help bring his son into this world. But you know, when you think about St. Joseph, throughout this entire process, Joseph had to decide that he wanted to give his life completely over to God. First, he was going to be married to a, a beautiful woman. Y'all know every picture, every image we have of her, Mary was a gorgeous woman. So he probably dreamed of having his own children with this phenomenal lady. But then God revealed to them through the angel Gabriel that they were going to have this son and that they would call him the Emmanuel, Christ our Lord. And Joseph had to decide at that time when the angel came to him in a dream that he would be willing to surrender everything he had for the sake of helping God bring salvation into the world. He had to surrender his life as he knew it, his wife, his desire to even have his own children. And of course, he had to surrender even his role in life. You know, sometimes we forget that God often is calling on us to be not just like the Blessed Mother and bear Christ into the world, but also to be like St. Joseph. Because you see, Joseph was the one that had to get everything ready. While Mary was pregnant and in those last couple months, Joseph had to make sure that the house was going to be good. He had to make sure that Mary was being fed well so that the baby would be nourished. He had to make sure that everything in anticipation of the coming of the Lord was lined up. And in the midst of it, he had to take them all to Bethlehem to register for a census. Can you imagine how frustrating it had to be for Joseph when all the things he already had to endure all of a sudden had to change? But because he was a strong man, because he trusted in God, he was willing to change everything as he knew it because he knew God needed him to prepare the way for his son. My brothers and sisters, our challenge is to ask ourselves, when we look at all of the different people in scripture, who are we most like? Are we like John the Baptist who's gonna proclaim that Christ is coming? Are we like the angel Gabriel going to others and to tell them that indeed Christ wants to enter into their world? Or are we even like the Blessed Mother bearing Christ for one another? Or are we like Saint Joseph, the one who's gonna be given the task to not only prepare the place, to make sure that it's ready for the one who will bear Christ, but even to help raise him and show him the true love that only a father could show. Today, my question to you is, when you look at all the biblical characters, who do you relate to? Because for me, it's St. Joseph.